Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this one's got a box in. Can you hear the box? And I would just like to say there is not Christmas in sight in this one. So it is a Christmas free unboxing. <laughs> But I did want to show you the products and these have come to me from the lovely people at diamondartgift.com and um, they asked me if I would like some more products to show on my channel I said yes of course and um, I really enjoyed uh, doing the products and uh, showing you the things that I've had from them in the past so yay shall we see what we got this time we have Oh, that looks like a little project. We've got pen boat wax there, look. And some twinklers. Oh, put that out the way. We have, oh, a diamond painting. Oh, that's a quite fat one. Wow, that's got a lot in that one. We'll have to have a look at that. And then we have a box. It's one of the generic diamond painting boxes. Ooh, what could be in the box? Okay, uh, there are quite a few special offers on at diamondartgift.com. I'll put them across the screen. And uh, the main one being, if you uh, put four items into your basket, you do get one free and there is 70% off shipping. So obviously that's as I'm making the video. If you're watching it at a future date, do check out what special offers they've got on. Um, as I say, that was as this morning as I've made the video. But if there is anything else, um, when I start editing my video, I will put that in as well. So I'm going to look at the page painting first because seems seems quite a fat package so there must be quite a few bigger gems possibly in this one it is special drill so let's see what we got a set christmas free zone today yay <laughs> okay right just move over their box keep you guessing as to what's in the box and this one is look at this Oh, this is going to be so sparkly. Oh, look at those gem pen button wax as normal. You can go over there. We don't want to look at you. So it's 30 by 40. And it's one of those gorgeous, glittery, like clutch bag purses. Looks like it's got a chain on it as well. So it's like a shoulder bag. But wow, look at this. I just saw it and the magpie in me just went, oh, sparkly gems. That is going to be so pretty. And I'm expecting there's going to be quite a bit of hot pink on this, quite possibly. So, yeah, I love all these. I really do. Um, when I used to go out on a night and go to nightclubs and things uh, and go to posh places, I used to love to have a really nice sparkly handbag. Uh, now, since being sort of like a mum and a grandma and now with hubby, uh, I'm afraid my handbag seems to be a lot more practical because I've got to get a lot more in them. But these are the bags that you used to put like your mobile, well, I didn't have a mobile phone in those days, but you used to put your purse in um, and maybe a comb or a brush and your lipstick and maybe a mascara just in case. Um, we did used to laugh quite a lot, so mascara did tend to run, so yeah, we did used to have to top it up. But yeah, it was just the essentials, uh, what you needed for your night out, uh, and then yeah, you just sparkled away. Plus as well, these were sort of like easy to just put round you, so you could dance with it on rather than having to put them all in a circle on the floor and dance around them. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't put this one on the floor, would you? But yeah, it's probably one of those hard bodied ones. Look, you've got the shading round as well. But oh, I would love a handbag that looked like that. Yay. I have got a Scotty dog one, which is the shape of a Scotty dog uh, with little handles on. And I have used that for quite a few things. But yeah, I tend to have bigger handbags now because I need to carry an awful lot of stuff around with me. But never mind. Times change. So this one has 11 different gems and colours. And we do have the code numbers of each of the gems on as well so uh, if you saw one of my previous kitting downs you will see that i am now putting my special drills and my crystals into these numbers and then these code numbers so yay i like it when they come with the codes on because we can get things organized and get all the same ones into the same bags yes well we try anyway <laughs> Let's have a look at these gems. No wonder it's fat. Look at the thickness of that packet of gems. Look how thick that is. That's wonderful. Oh, lots of sparkle. It's quite a few in the range of this as well, so I may have to get a few more of them. Hubby. 
be willing, once this one's done, it may just go up in my bedroom. <laughs> I can't imagine he'll be very happy about having it on the bedroom wall, but maybe he won't notice. Nah, I think it'll shine too much. Anyway. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's start at this end. Let's start with these crystals first. So let's say 11 different gems and colours. So we have a lovely gold yellow colour. We have a pale hot pink. And is that two of the same? Uh, yep, that's two colours the same. And then we have a deeper hot pink there, look. And then we've got a pale icy blue. Oh, and an emerald green and an aqua blue. And then we're on to the specials. So there's not many just standard crystals. So one, two, three, four, five, six different colours in the standard crystals. And then we're on to these. So let me have a look. Right, so that one is a large uh, faceted round in silver with an iridescent coating on to give you the extra sparkle. Then we have toe packs of this one. Look, this is a slightly smaller one. They're like a cross hatch on them. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can sort of see them. They're not like exactly facets, they're more sort of squared off. So you've got square, nearly like, um, yeah, like cross hatch, like a tartany type pattern. Lines going both ways. So two big packs of those. So they're going to be it's like, oh yeah, they're the number eight. Look, they go all the way around the edge and then they're woven in between as well. Ooh. And then we have some large blue semi-spheres with an iridescent coating on. And uh, where will they go then? Where are they? They are number nine. So, oh, they're just dotted around look on the front. Oh, this is gorgeous. And then we have a hot pink facet in round. And that one is number 10. Oh, again, so number 10 uh, dotted around there. Look, we've got 10 there and 10 there. Oh, it's quite a bit of hot pink on it then. Yay! And then we have, oh, look at those. So they are a semi-sphere in, in a very clear silver. Ooh, they're different like in those. So that one is number 11. So number 11, number 11. A smaller one. Where does number 11 go? Oh, it's up the top there. Look, <laughs> I'm thinking, well, there isn't a number 11, but no, it's on the top of the clasp here. Look, so it's going to be like all your pinky colour and then you just your clear crystals on the end. Oh, that would look so good. <gasps> wow, absolutely loving this. So, yay. And the price of this one is $4.99. I will put the conversion um, onto the... Uh, for, I will put the conversion on the screen for you. Into pounds, into great British pounds. So, that is a project number one. Let's do the smaller one first. I'll keep you guessing what's in the box. So, this is just a dinky little doodah project. Again, it was new and there was a couple of different ones of this one and it is a key ring but it's a shuttlecock look at that so anybody that plays badminton uh, it's that way up for your numbers and everything um yeah maybe for the person that's got everything um if somebody does play badminton maybe for a key ring or a bag charm for their um kit bag or something like that uh, yeah, but just something a little bit different. It is double-sided. Uh, the price of this one was $1.99. So, yeah, but yeah, just a little bit of a decoration. And uh, to be honest, I've never seen anything actually uh, key ring wise for uh, badminton. You get a lot of football and all things like that. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was just that little bit different. So that will be gifted to somebody who's a badminton player. Yay! Okay, so we've got pen boat wax and our little keychain there. Take that out of there. So you've got, that's a very, very fine little chain there. Once you've diamond painted it, I would suggest sealing this as well. Because if it is going to be used as a keyring or a bag charm, it will get quite a bit of uh, bashing about. So they will need to all stay in place. And you just pop that through there as well. So you've got a lovely lobster claw clasp. And then it's just the ball and chain at the end. Sorry, ball and socket at the end. 
ball and chain what am i thinking of no don't say that no answers there <laughs> and uh, yeah just pop that through oops there like that and it just clips on so you've got either just a little hanging uh, chain there or you can use your lobster claw clasp and these are the ones that are the easiest to use because you just literally have your little lever and uh, it just opens up and it's got quite a big opening quite a big mouth as it were there just to clip over uh, onto your bag or your gym bag or whatever so yeah, I felt that was just a little bit different. I do like to try and find things that are a little bit different, a little bit more interesting. And then let's look at these colours. So we have, uh, let me have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different gems and colours. So we have a lovely icy, icy blue colour. Your standard shiny silver. That looks like that's, uh, ooh, actually that's green. I was thinking that was black, but that is a very, very dark green. I think, will the camera pick it up? Possibly not. Um, and then an aqua blue and an emeraldy green. And that one is uh, a silver with an iridescent coating on. So they're either called twinklers or sparklers. I can never remember which. But if you look at the difference between the plain silver and the one with the iridescent coating on, you just get that extra sparkle, those extra colours showing through. You get like a greeny, bluey effect on those. And then we have some markings with an iridescent coating on. And oh, look at those. So that is uh, an Aurora Borealis gem. So it's like a lime green gem, uh, your standard acrylic um, in your in your drill, in your gem. And then it's got the iridescent coating on it. So very nice. Oh, liking that. Oh, I wish it had a DMC number on it, but I'm sure I can match it up if I've already got some. So yeah, it's going to be very, very sparkly. But I say make a nice present, or if you play badminton yourself, or if you like badminton. That's uh, quite a big sort of key ring or statement piece. If you're like me, you'll need a big key ring because you put things down and you just can't find them. So something that size is more likely to catch your eye, isn't it? <laughs> So that's our project number two. And then let's look in the box and see what we got. Okay, again, this was something new out and there was quite a few in the series of them. And oh, look at this. Let's just put that on one side. I am liking that they're starting to put things into boxes now. So they're protecting them a little bit. Albeit this is a wooden um, ornament or, or a display. And okay, so let's pop it out. Oh, can you tell what it is? I think that's quite a giveaway looking at it from this angle. We're again all special drills. We have a pen, butt, and wax. We have a nice little stand, a little wooden stand. So, yeah, it's uh, quite a thick stand as well. So you've got like the three layers of your wood on that one as well. And this is, look, a little bit different. And it is Snow White. Now, if you've been with me a while, hello and welcome back. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hello, thank you for coming by. Hope you'll subscribe and stay with us so you don't miss anything. And this is, yes, yeah, Snow White. And she is my favourite Disney princess. And uh, I saw this and I thought, oh, that's a different one. So it's like a, it's like a silhouette, uh, then just with sparkle on it. And there's so much on this, I didn't realise. So she's got a lovely red apple there. And it's like, no, don't eat it, don't eat it. We've got the iconic puff sleeve dress there as well. And I'm hoping that's going to be black hair that she's got on a red headband. And then I hadn't realised when I ordered it, look, you've got all this detail down here. What have I one, two, three, four? five six so we have actually got seven dwarves on a dress down here we've got a little stag we've got a little squirrel sat in a tree and then we've got all little birds or little butterflies flying round as well 
oh that is just so pretty i mean obviously you're not going to get any detail on the seven dwarves which is fine because they are exceptionally tiny but you get the idea of what they are and it is just in silhouette so i just thought this was just a little bit different and as i've already said i don't like to try and find things that are new and different and have a play about with them so let's see what gems we have with our lovely snow white there isn't that much coverage on this one so it's not one that's going to take you an awful lot of time to do but it's still going to have that impact and be very very effective i do like the fact that you've got the black on it there mm, okay so it is eight different gems and colors so not too many oh right look we've got a lovely bright red for the apple and then we've got a very pale blue for the outline of her uh, outfit your standard very very sparkly silver a little bit of your standard 310 black and then we have some teardrops in silver and then look bright red marquee that's a large one so that's going to go on her headband up here and on her sleeves We've got a large round red, which is going to go in the centre of the apple to make it shine a little bit more. And then, oh no, sorry, they will be for there. And then it's the blue ones, isn't it, on our uh, sleeves there. So, yeah, excellent. So they are absolutely gorgeous. Loving them. So just pop those back in there. I say, not too many gems on it. So actually, somebody's starting out with that diamond painting or for younger people um, that maybe like their Disney princesses. This is gorgeous. And then once she's done, she will just stand in her little stand. Now, if you can still see, look, um, a little bit of the brown wood just going across here, I would just get a permanent marker pen and just uh, put a line of black across there just so it doesn't show, just doesn't spoil the effect. But she has just got a little bit of an edging all the way around. I may have to use my black marker actually and just cover that over because I don't like seeing edges as you possibly know if you've uh, seen previous videos. Oh, I've just been joined by a little Millie Moo. Say hello, Millie. Are you just joining us to say hello? She's just going into a basket and snuggling up. Yeah, she had a haircut yesterday, so she's, uh, yeah, just um, glaring at me quite a bit because she's not keen on going to the hairdressers. <laughs> Sorry, the groomers, aren't they? It's a dog groom, not a dog hairdresser. Same thing. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, shall we give things a quick measure? I haven't measured anything, have I? Ooh, <laughs> I'm slipping, no measurements. Right, so the width of Snow White is about five and three quarter inches, which is, let me have a look, uh, 14 and a half centimetres. And then the length is 20. 22 and a half centimetres to the tip of her bow there which is about eight and three quarter inches so yeah she's a nice size let's just do this a quick measure of the little shuttlecock as well there so that one is four inches which is 10 centimetres uh, by seven centimetres oh just under three inches so yay so quite a bit of a mixture this time we've had our lovely handbag which we could always put our shuttlecock on it's not that far well i suppose it is maybe with the greens but uh, yeah you could always put uh, your keys on that one and put it inside your posh handbag and then we'll go out and we'll go to the cinema to see snow white <laughs> Well, a huge thank, thank you, Diamond Art and Gift, for sending me these. Absolutely love them. Don't forget to go and check out the uh, website and see what the special offers are that they've got on. And see all the new things that are coming out as well. There really is some fantastic stuff coming out at the moment. If you've enjoyed looking at all these with me, then as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you would like to join our little family and see what we get up to next, if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up 
you'll be notified when any of my videos come out so you won't miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now